Sunshine Sherry here, and you're listening to Party in Paradise. I hope you're ready to have a good time, because here's your host now, Todd Sparks. Hello, everybody. It's time to Party in Paradise. I'm your host, Todd Sparks, along with Rock and Roll Sherry. Hey, everybody. It's time to get down. Because you know what time it is, folks. It's that time of year. It's time for some football. We started it last week. We're continuing it this week. Football, baby. Got to love it. Got to have it. Had great games this weekend. Now we get to go college and pro. My team's won. I was excited. One of my favorite times of year because I have college football. I have professional football i have major league baseball this is when golf gets interesting i'm not a nascar (laughs) fan but this time of year i will watch because you know this is when it starts getting real and you get the points and all that good stuff and it's getting down to the brass tacks that's what i like good stuff fun that's a lot to take in yeah i just changed my cable package actually and next sunday the man is coming to hook me up so i can see (laughs) thank you well you're welcome (laughs) Oh, uh, so, well, so I can see every single touchdown of every single game from the ten yard line in. There it is. Thank you. So there it is. I'm very excited about rock that. and roll sherry football. Here it is, <laughs> folks. We we do this. This is how many weeks? Uh, we are on 27 for some of our st- 27 some of our stations. weeks for most of our most stations. of our stations. Yeah, some of our stations have been. We with add us new a ones, weeks. Yeah. so we're but, adding them all the time. And but we're trying to archive them. If I could get somebody to work, we would be archiving them on ToddSparks.com. But if someone could take an hour long trip to Jamaica, we would archive now, them. Now, now, but we want to send a shout out. We. We, we, like I said, we've been doing this every week. I'm changing that subject off Rock and Roll Sherry. We'll get back to it. Because we are going to talk about vacations today, too. So, see, with football and baseball comes travel because you got to go to the games. And so we travel. You know, we want to talk about vacations, too, because you can vacation going to the sports of your choice. Yes. And you can party in paradise wherever you go. So it's food, fun, and music. That's what we like to do. That's what Party in Paradise is all about, no matter where you go. But we want to give a shout-out to our stations, and we really haven't done this in a long time. No, it's been a while. So I want to – we started it with – We were starting a shout-out when we opened up, but then we just started going on our tangents. Yeah, because I go nuts. Yes, I wasn't going to say just you. Anywho. But yes. Anywho. Stephen Youngblood kind of got us started with Radio Trop Rock. Uh, Thanks, Stephen. And – you can check out our website and our Facebook and what have you to know when we're on. Uh, Harry Tiford with Radio A1A. Yes. Thank you, Harry. We love you, baby. Then up in Calgary, Canada, Mr. Bruce Hubble, CJXF. All these are streamed, of course. You can get them on the Internet. In Foxton Beach, New Zealand. Glenda and Fred. Glenda and Fred. They call him the old hippie. That's Riverside Country Radio 88.3. Mr. Thomas Frazier with Permanent Vacation Radio. You're the best, buddy. We love you. Thomas was actually the first guy to play any of my music on the radio when we came out with Gulf of Mexico. So, Thomas, we love you. Yeah, Appreciate we've been working with him for a, for, for, for a long time. Long time. Long time. I love you. Love you. Long time, Thomas. <laughs> I'm and sure. Never mind. I'm sorry. Let me just stop. Jim Jowsey. No good will with come With WNY Shore that. Radio. Jim. Thank you so much for everything you've done for us, buddy. We appreciate it so much. And we, we've got more stations we're doing, but those are the guys who have been with us for the longest, and we thank you. Uh, that's and, fantastic. Oh, yeah, and they're playing your music. I mean, this is where our sh- your show yeah, is. Yeah, this is, but your this is where the show is. your music is playing on several stations. I mean, no, no, several no. is an understatement. I mean, hundreds of stations around the world. It's, it's really a miracle that they can even understand this country-ass boy. On some of these stations in Europe and Australia and Asia, because Columbia. we are played. Uh, yes, we are in South America. There's like seven, eight countries now playing my music in South America. Todd you're, Sparks in the Shrimp Boat Cowboys. So, you're in uh, Japan. I know, isn't that crazy? That's awesome. Japan, uh, some kind of English station in China. Every European South country Africa. now, I think. Really? Yeah. 
Wow, I didn't know that one. Okay, mm-hmm. that's cool. So we've got to visit those places. I'm all about it. Come on, send us something. Can we start with Jamaica? I'm, <laughs> I'm not, not going to let it go. I'll, I will get us on if I get to go. See, now, I'm, so we're talking about vacations, and we're talking about where, I, of course, music and food and fun and partying in paradise. My <laughs> sis, uh, Marsha. <laughs> hey, Marsh. Love you. Love you, sis. What? <laughs> no, we were on food and fun, and I was thinking of other. I was gonna keep the F's going, but then I had I stopped myself. Sherry is awful. I stopped myself. We have to because friends, ha- friends. We have to edit this show constantly to keep her from <laughs> that potty mouth. She was U.S. Army. Friends. After all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My sister sent me this thing that's making the rounds around the internet. You've probably seen it. And also Cousin Sam. Hey, Cousin Sam. They sent me this about Americans, of course, travel. We travel. Southerners travel. I'm a Southerner. Some of us don't travel well. We don't do well. But there are people from other nations that don't do well, too. Now, this <laughs> came from a guy named Thomas Cook. He's in based in, I guess, London, maybe London, England. These are actual people who actually complained dissatisfied customers for Thomas Cook vacations. Here we go. I'm going to read this because this is pretty dang hilarious. I, I want to share it with you. Thomas Cook vacations. These are people who went on vacation. He sent them on vacation. He's like a tour operator. They came back and complained. First one, they should not allow topless sunbathing on the beach. It was very distracting for my husband who just wanted to relax. Wow. <laughs> She clearly did not take her she top off. She bought that lie. That's what I like. <laughs> yeah, honey, I'm, trying I'm trying not to, re- to look. I'm, I'm trying to relax. I just want to lay here in my own business, but I can't lay on my stomach. Here's another one. <laughs> we went on holiday to Spain and had a problem with the taxi drivers. They all spoke Spanish. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the beach was too sandy. One of my favorites. The beach was too sandy. We had to clean everything. We, we returned to our room. Oh, my God. What do you think happens at the beach? Uh, well, that's the point. Exactly. They don't get they, they Well, they went to the out. wrong beach. There's a beach out there where the sand falls off you the minute you hit the pavement. I love this one. This one's for Stephen Youngblood. No one told us there would be fish in the water. The children were scared. <laughs> Steve is hand fishing in the water with them. Nobody told us there were fish in the water. Woo! Love it. Yeah. The roads were uneven and bumpy, so we could not read the local guidebook during the bus ride to the resort. Because of this, we were unaware of many things that would have made our holiday more fun. Wow. <laughs> you don't read the guide before you get... Oh, I can't I can't read and drive, man. so... People are just, you know, come on. Petty. It took us nine hours to fly home from Jamaica to England. It took the Americans only three hours to get home. This seems so unfair. And that's a long way. Three Sorry hours. Sorry you had to cross an ocean. Yeah, man. It took me 32 hours to get from Hawaii to Bosnia. So she, I don't want to hear up it. Everybody. She wants up everybody. Well, you know, if we're going to do this, and somebody spilled orange juice in my combat boots. Mm. Mm. That's all, I'm, I'm that's leaving all it alone. See, folks. I'm going to get going. It was your duty as the tour operator to advise us of noisy or unruly guests before we travel. How do they know who else is going? Don't come to Panama City Beach. No. <laughs> I was bitten by a mosquito. The brochure did not mention mosquitoes. Can we assume <laughs> everywhere in America? And well, not America. It's I'm sorry. World. Everywhere in the world it's has mosquitoes. There are, I saw a picture. We live in a we live in a world where everybody wants everything to be so sterile and to view things, view events. From the comfort of a chair through a television. A that bubble. is not the way to do it. You go out and experience it. Just like the last one, which is my most favorite one. Here we go. The complaint. The complaint to to my to my man, to my man, Mr. Thomas Cook of Thomas Cook Vacations. Now this is the only this is the, the best le- one. This Drum is roll. a legitimate one though. <laughs> my fiance and I requested twin beds when we booked, but instead we were placed in a room with a king bed. We now hold you responsible and want to be reimbursed for the fact that I became pregnant. 
this would not have happened if you had not put us in a room what we had booked. Nice. That's right. They really wouldn't have just gotten. Never mind. Here's a song. Here's a song <laughs> from my party in Paradise album. It's called "A Tell I Won't Tell." See, what's the deal when you go on vacation? What goes on what, on vacation? Yes, what happens on the island stays on the Can island. Can rock and roll Sherry just get to the island? I don't know. <laughs> I wrote this song coming to see my good friend Chris Ream. What was the name of the event? It is the Tropical Songwriters in Paradise in Key West, That's Florida. Right. I was flying down there a couple of years ago. I had to fly because I had to do a show and then come back and do another show. Crazy. But I flew down there, had a great time with the Gary Eck, Reverend Gwecko. I call him Dr. Gwecko. The Reverend Dr. Gwecko. He's a Chris gynecologist. Ream, uh, he is the sound man from hell, they call him. <laughs> Big shout out to Key West. I wrote this on the plane there and back. It's called A Tell I Won't Tell. Take you on vacation. Here we go. Put on some speed Flying above the waves I'm ready to play On a beach beside a blue coral sea Really didn't plan an excursion Sometimes you got to say what the hell Leave the grind behind and clear your mind And we're gonna tell you won't tell Boss, a real good story. I'll ask forgiveness for a little white lie. A problem came along, I had to be gone. It's not like I said somebody died. I doubt he even believed me, and right now I really don't care. Soon I'll be drinking rum and having fun, and working on a tale I won't tell. Tell, I won't tell. Yeah, we're going to get to some football jokes in a little while. I know we've got folks 
have we we've got a lot of jokes that came in this week. Yes, we're, we're not only going to do colleges this week; we're going to do some pro jokes too. So <laughs> we're going to make fun of some pro teams too. <laughs> Archie Griffin. Now I'm a football fan. Do you know who Archie Griffin is, Rock and Roll Sherry? No. The only man to win the Heisman Trophy twice. Still don't know him. He went to, to Ohio State University, the Ohio State. Now, he gives, I was reading in uh, Entrepreneur Magazine. They're the Buckeyes, right? They are the Buckeyes. Okay. Uh, he was telling what it takes to be excellent. I'm going to read a little bit of this to you because this is very cool. Winning the single most prestigious award in college football is a great achievement. This is him writing. This is Archie writing. Even more remarkable to, is doing it twice. I've long said that I was at the right person in the right place at the right time. That's why I won two Heisman trophies. My teammates and coaches help, helped because they were the best of the best. I was surrounded with quality people. A lot of people doubted I was physically big enough to survive playing in the Big Ten. It was the Big Ten then, still is the Big Ten. But Coach Bob Stewart always told us it's not the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of the fight and the dog that mattered. That helped me believe that I could succeed anywhere. So the moral is surround yourself with positive, successful people. Get rid of negative folks. And that's what gets you to party in paradise. Oh, my God. That's what I'm talking about. Rock and roll Sherry's got the news. I do. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was... You got me on the the whole Ohio Buckeyes thing because my wedding this past weekend that I DJed for, they were Ohio Buckeyes. Rock and roll, Sherry, the best wedding DJ on the Gulf Coast. Whoop, whoop. Y'all need to call it now. <laughs> but okay, so we actually just sent out an e blast. A uh, Todd Sparks. Are you on the mailing list? That's what you got to ask yourself. It's free. Don't cost nothing. Who's giving the news? It's like the beer in Animal House. Don't cost nothing. Wait, there's free beer. No, we had the coldest beer in all of uh, Panama City here this past weekend. It's a rumor. That's, yeah. Okay, but we just sent out a Todd Sparks e blast this past week, giving everyone that was on our mailing list a free copy MP3 of Todd's cover of Summertime. And we got so many great responses. Thank you, everyone, that took the time to email me back, letting us know what you thought of the song. It was very well received, and we are very much appreciative of all the positive feedback. If you're listening to this and you did not get a copy of the MP3, shame on you, of Todd's version of Summertime. Well, yeah, it is your fault because all you had to do was go to toddsparks.com. That's www.todd. S P A R K S dot com. Go to the contact link, sign up for the e blast. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and extend the free gift to everybody for one more week. So if you sign up this week, this coming up weekend, I'll make sure to send back out another e blast with another copy for all of our new people that didn't do it yet of uh, summertime. Yeah, we got a lot of people that emailed in wanting the song. Yeah, yeah. And some of them actually emailed in wanting a CD. It's not a CD yet. When we make it a CD, it's actually going to yeah. be, uh, we're going to charge for it, and we are going to put it on you iTunes. Dang right we are. We're going to put it on iTunes soon. We need the money. But <laughs> which is why right now we're just giving it away. So yeah. sign up, and we'll give you the MP3. We, yeah. And you got we, other songs. We're, you're working on two new albums right now. Driving One, me nuts. Yeah. What, driving me nuts. I have to put up with you. But one is all covers, and then the other one is going to be new originals. And we're sticking with kind of like a, a blues type of theme with this new I got album. the blues, baby. And that's actually great because we've picked up that's through summertime several new blues radio stations like around. That's the, very yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and they're, we're getting more every day, so it's, it's very positive. Well, the thing with R&B and gospel, rock and roll, it's all based on the blues, all, all based on R&B blues from the beginning of music, so of American music anyway. So you, you base it all, and trop rock feeds into that. So it, it, it's all that, that good blues rock and roll music. So I just decided to take it to a more electric place yeah. and a, with a simpler arrangement. That's what I'm looking for. Summertime's not too much of a... Simpler arrangement, but but the song lent. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. It was it lended itself to to what we were doing to it. I think so. I'm pretty happy it with the way it It pours over out. the speakers like a 
I, I had an analogy and I just completely messed it up. I'm sorry. Just pretend she's I didn't, drunk. Pretend she's, I didn't say she that. She does the show. I was going to say like a fine wine, but I, then oh I, my goodness, then yeah. I don't know. Oh my. Let's goodness. just take back that last thirty seconds and pretend like that didn't just happen. Oh. <laughs> but I have, you know what I need me. to do? I need to add it to your Reverb Nation because that way, if you have the app, or not you, but I mean yeah. others have your iTunes or not your iPhone app for the phones. She's going to get it out sooner or later, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know gentlemen. why I'm tongue tied. She missed rehearsal again. No <laughs> problem. <laughs> what rehearsal? Now, what we have is an iPhone app. Yes. We don't have a droid app. We're, we're, I'm sorry. We, well, and it's not your fault, though. It we've is not been, my fault. I paid the money. We, we were ain't promised. Got the app. Yeah, yeah, we were promised, so and we've We got the contacted. iPhone app, though, and it ties in through Reverb Nation. So Yeah, and I need to add Summertime to Reverb Nation that way. Sometime before the end of the year, I'm sure it'll happen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, but dude, you can, if you have an iPhone, you can go to the app store download it's the free. Todd's Park it's app. Free. It's free. It's free. Yeah, and free. you can you can stalk Todd through your phone yeah and all because all there's the songs pictures there. there all the songs are on there uh eventually his, all his the, the tour dates will be there. Uh, no stop i put them on there i added them i actually did that you're welcome well, okay so <laughs> with that talking about the blue said i did a song on the gulf of mexico album that's kind of an old i i, I gave it that blues feel and the kind of a southern rock feel that's what i wanted to do with it it's it's called the southland because i want in the Southland, I know we folks all over the world are listening to the show, and we appreciate you very much. But where we live, Gulf Coast USA, is in the southeastern United States. And we love our football. That's what we've been talking about. But we also love our music. So this is my little tribute to and, Southern rock and, music. And really women, because there's a lot of different uh, well, we loves the women. categories of dames mentioned in this, too. We loves the women. <laughs> loves so, the ladies. <laughs> and then I'm going to talk to you about a little Southern rock action before we get to the football. So here it is. This is the the Southland off the Gulf of Mexico album. <laughs> Georgia Peach, a Mississippi queen, a blue Kentucky girl. Cajun Queens, Carolina dreams, the most beautiful girls in the world. An Alabama belle that likes to raise hell, a sweet thing from Tennessee. A Texas honey and a Florida sun bunny, they all mean one thing to me. Country sounds where the best pickers in the world play. They bring you up and then get you down. Memphis gave birth to rock and roll, the killer and the king. If some muscle shows to them making roads, and don't forget that Texas swing.
That's the Southland. Hope you enjoyed that. Like I say, I cut my teeth coming up on singer-songwriters and southern rock music. The Allman Brothers, Charlie Daniels, um, Toy Caldwell and Marshall Tucker. Uh, then as Hank Williams Jr. became kind of a southern rocker in the late 70s, early 80s, uh, one of my favorite albums is Hank Williams Jr. and Friends when Chuck Lavelle and uh, I think Dickie Betts and Toy Caldwell, they all played on that album with him. It was fantastic. And I've just read an article. For, this is for all you musicians out there, for especially guitar players. Gibson Guitar, uh, the American guitar, them and Fender, electric guitar anyway. Uh, of course, they're... Gibson Guitar manufactures their guitars in Nashville. Uh, I'm right now. I'm a Strat player, but uh, I'm really thinking about getting me an ES three thirty five. That's really the way I want to go. But they, the Gibson Manufacturing Company, Gibson Guitar Company, just made a guitar that's a tribute to the Southern rock legends. Oh lordy! Very cool. Very cool. How fitting for you. That's right. And I didn't mention Leonard Skinner, of course. Well, I don't know why I didn't mention Leonard Skinner, but. You're tired. I'm not I'm, that tired. I'm just dumb. <laughs> but uh, would well, I was giving the you Southern, an out way to blow it. The Southern rock guys, they did this guitar for. Uh, it's a Southern rock legends guitar. It's a Les Paul. It's very very cool. If you haven't seen it, go online. I saw this article in Guitar Aficionado magazine, and it is very cool to celebrate. The release of this guitar, it's a rock tribute. Not it's a 1959 style Gibson Les Paul, an accurate reproduction. It's got a reverse sunburst finish, which is very cool. Kind of a crimson heart shaped design. Very, it just beautiful. I'm looking at the picture as well. I'm telling you this. We should put that on Facebook then. Well, let's do that. That's yeah. fantastic. To and to celebrate this, they invited the Southern Rockers who are still alive, to the Gibson Manufacturing Facility in uh, Nashville, and they let them sign a guitar. And they invited Dickie Betts, of course, of the Almond Brothers, uh, Charlie Daniels. They invited uh, Jimmy Hall of Wet Willie, another band I did not mention. I apologize. They invited Blackfoot's Ricky Medlock and Gary Rosington of, the, of Leonard Skinner. And they all showed up, and they lent their support to the guitar and to participate in an all-star jam that day, which I wish I could have been there. Uh, at this jam also, they had Vince Gill and Leroy Parnell and Dwayne Allman's daughter, Galadriel. She was there. That had to be just as cool as they could be. And they all signed this guitar. All these artists signed the guitar. It was very cool. And you can actually buy this guitar. It's only $18,824. Oh, that's so, pocket change. Pocket change. Yeah. Uh, you can buy the guitar. They only made, I think they're they're making 50 as I'm reading here. It's $9,059. But, you know, I that, forget all that. But I can't afford it. But maybe some of you guys can. It's called the Heart of Dixie Guitar. So it's a tribute to Southern Rock. And I think that's pretty fantastic. I think it's they great. It. Yeah. Pretty fantastic. So speaking of Southern Rock... I'm going to give a shout-out to a new kid. His name is Benjamin Booker. He's from New Orleans, from New Orleans. I want you to take a listen to this guy. He's been on tour uh, this summer that uh, with Jack White, and he opened for those guys. Grew up in Tampa, moved to New Orleans, got his style there. He is a hot, hot guitar player, let me tell you. What's he look like? He's a good-looking kid. He was in the, <laughs> He was in the GQ. Oh yeah, he's kind of like a like gen a gentleman's quarterly, like a like a Lenny Kravitz is like esque type. Yeah, he's he's kind of got that Lenny Kravitz look, maybe a little better looking than Lenny. What? Yeah. Stop. So he's uh he is a very hot player, plays rock and roll. That is very southern rockish. Got that New Orleans style, which is funky. He's got that good funk going on with his sound behind him i think you guys will like him his name is benjamin booker so take a listen and see what you think about him we we kind of got to close it up for this half hour yeah so we're gonna be right back though don't, don't worry about all that we miss you we call him fish tales stories from a beach town 
Time for some fishtails, football style. Last week I introduced you to a band called Doug Clark and the Hot Nuts when we did it college style. We're going to do some more college in a little bit. Doug Clark and the Hot Nuts from the 50s, from the 60s, from the 70s, kind of like Otis Dan the Knights in Animal House. So here we go. Let's do it pro football style. Now, these were sent in to us mainly by people all over the place. Goes like this. You sing nuts, hot nuts. You get them from the peanut man. Yeah, 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 nuts. Hot nuts. You get them anywhere you can. Did you hear about Eli Manning? He just threw his iPhone in frustration. Yeah, it was intercepted and then returned for a touchdown. Sing nuts, hot nuts. You get them from the peanut man. Yeah, 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 nuts. Hot nuts. Get them in the way you can. How many Washington Redskins fans does it take to change a light bulb? None. They are happy living in Philadelphia's shadow. Nuts. Hot nuts. You get them from the peanut man. Yeah, 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 nuts. Hot nuts. You get them in the way you can. How many Denver Broncos does it take to change a tire? One, unless it's a blowout, in which case they all show up. Sing nuts, hot nuts. You get them from the peanut man. Yeah, 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 nuts. Hot nuts. You get them in the way you can. What does a Green Bay Packer fan and a bottle of beer have in common? What? They're both empty from the neck up. Sing nuts, hot nuts. You get them from the peanut man. Yeah, 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 nuts. Hot nuts. You get them in the way you can. What's the difference between the Miami Dolphins and the Taliban? What? The Taliban have a running game. Sing nuts. Hot nuts. You get them from the peanut man. What's the difference between the Tennessee Titans and a litter of puppies? <laughs> what? Eventually, the litter of puppies grows up and stops whining. Sing nuts. Hot nuts. You get them from the peanut man. Yeah, 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 nuts. Hot nuts. You get them in the way you can. Why doesn't Columbus, Ohio have a professional football team? Why? Because Cleveland would want one too. Sing nuts. <laughs> Hot nuts. You get them from the peanut man. Yeah, 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 nuts. Hot nuts. You get them in the way you can. What does a Jacksonville Jaguars fan do when his team has won the Super Bowl? What? He turns off his Xbox. Sing nuts. <laughs> Hot nuts. You get them from the peanut man. Yeah, 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 nuts. Hot nuts. You get them in the way you can. One more. I can do one more this segment. So what does the Dallas Cowboys in the movie Brokeback Mountain have in common? Ooh, what? They both have cowboys that suck. Sing nuts. Hot nuts. You get them from the peanut man. There you go, little hot nuts. Fitch tails. We catch them, we clean them, believe them and eat them. Man, we've had so much fun. All right. All that football getting me tailgating thinking now. Now I'm thinking about the tailgating. You know, I've been traveling a lot, ladies and gentlemen. I tell you, been it's been a lot. I have not been exercising. I'm getting fat as a pig. Well, yes. knowing is half the battle. I wasn't going to say anything. Woo! So I thought it would be appropriate to do this <laughs> next tune. I haven't done it in a while. Kind never, on never the on the show. Never on the show, but I haven't, I haven't actually performed it in a while. It's one I used to do a, quite a few years ago in, uh, in another incarnation. Quite a few. That's generous. So here's a little something for you that it's, it's, it's old school rap. Old food rap. <laughs> what? I like to call it, I got a big butt. It goes like this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh, that's a good one. There's a big old snake. Mm. Yeah, I was walking down the street when the real fine lady said, have a seat. Then I tried to take a chair, but my butt just spread out everywhere. I got a big butt, a big butt, said it. Big butt, a big butt. 
I like to drive my car. My butt's too wide. My car, it just leans to the side. I was driving down the street to the picture show. My butt's hanging out. Car wouldn't go. My butt's real big. I don't care. I ride the bus. They charge me double fare. I got the big butt. The big butt. I like real. Big butt. The big butt. I like lots of food. I got a big butt. A big butt. Buffets. Big butt. The big butt. I got a big butt, but I'm a real good sport. I clear the lanes on the basketball court. Work real hard down at the gym. Try to lose these inches off a big rear end. I got the big butt, the big butt, like Sherry. Big butt, the big butt, rock and roll. Big butt, the big butt, oh no. Big butt, the big butt. I went to see the Oakland Raiders. I couldn't get out of the elevator. I was trying hard, doing my part when all of a sudden I had to fall. <laughs> oh, I said, mm, big butt. I watch Robin Big. I eat bonbons. I like his idea about using Mon Pond. Chuck, he has charged. I toast his health. I laugh so hard. I crap myself. I got the big butt. Big butt. Big butt. A big butt. A big booty. Big butt. A big butt. I said it. Big butt. Big butt. I got the biggest booty in my neighborhood. Girls like to touch it because it feels so good. My booty is so unique. Not everybody's got a custom made toilet seat. Ha 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 I got the big butt, big butt, big butt, the big butt, mm. big butt, the big butt. I said it, big butt, the big butt. Mm. See, I really don't have a big butt. I got a big gut, but that doesn't work. <laughs> I have a big enough butt for the both of us. I didn't say it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, no. I didn't say it. Oh, it's not I got a... witnesses. I did not say it. Oh, it's not a bad thing. My yeah. booty's awesome. Woo! She's talking that talk, bo- walking that walk. It's a bodacious booty. So. <laughs> That's all I Lord got. Have mercy. I don't know why I went to surfer style all of a sudden. So, so there we are. We're at the ball game talking about our big <laughs> butt. So now it's time to get tailgating, folks. So let's do the Paradise Cafe and get to the ball game and cook some good food. Rock and roll, Sherry, lead us down that road. All right, it's time to party in paradise tailgate style, ladies and gentlemen. Last week, I was able to give my recipes that I like to take to the ball game. We're going to let Rock and Roll Sherry do hers this week. I'm a food genius. She, she's, she's a food person. And, uh, <laughs> now, she's not a big ball gamer. She's not a big tailgater. I'm getting there. She wants to learn. She's yeah. willing to learn. <laughs> so, all right. Now, so last week I had... Three. How many do you have this week? I have three. Okay, great. But great, all of perfect. mine are great because if, you, if you're going to go tailgating, the great thing about these are that if you team up with other people that are going to the game with you. Which is what it's all about. Chances are each of you will have a crock pot or something that you can put these in. And I like the fact that they're crock pot recipes okay. because after you cook them, you can just take out or just bring the whole crock pot heating element and everything with you, right. keep the lid on it, and sure. it will stay warm there while you, you travel. You can plug it back in with the generator it, or Exactly. Whatever. So if you need to cook it some more. This really, warm, yeah. really helps oh, you. Oh, great idea. So these are, these these are, are crock portable pot slow crock pot the, slope cook meals, absolutely, perfect. Perfect. that are perfect for the game All right. and perfect What's for first? sharing with friends. Well, we're going to start with a bean dip. All right, we start with the bean dip. Yes, got to have a bean dip. The recipe, got the big butt. The ingredients are very simple. One and a half <laughs> cups of dried black beans, a one and a half oh cups Lord. dried pinto beans, Oh my God. five cups of water, one package, and that's about one and a quarter ounces of hot taco nasty. seasoning. Yes, one, pa- <clears throat> one package, that's about one and a quarter ounces of hot taco seasoning mix. Two <laughs> tablespoons of dried minced onion, three chicken bouillon cubes, one tablespoon of dried parsley flakes, two oh bay my leaves. Oh, Lord. Oh, wait, it gets better. One jar, that's 16 ounces of thick and chunky salsa, medium or hot. Good Lord. And then two tablespoons of lime juice. 
What you're going to want to do. I'm glad these are simple. <laughs> well, okay. no, they actually really are, though. Okay. Step one, you place all the beans in a large bowl. You cover it with the water and you soak them for about four, no, soak them for about six to eight hours or overnight. I soaked them for four because I was in a rush and it did not come out that well. Do the recommended six to eight. There it uh, is. If you want to like quick soak them, which I didn't do, I tried, but I didn't do it right. I place the beans in a large saucepan, not a bowl. All right, you want to bring them to a bowl, a boil over high heat. Boil for two minutes, then remove from the heat and let them soak covered for one hour. And then drain the beans and discard the water. I didn't know that. I had skipped that part, didn't read all the way. And I was like, oh, I'll just <laughs> quick soak them. And I didn't even turn the heat on. No wonder. So don't do what I did. Captain Morgan's to blame. I know. <laughs> it really is. All right, number two. That devil met. Now, what? I was like, so we got the bean dip. What the do you. The beans are soaked. And now they're, okay, you know, squishy you. and all that jazz. So we hadn't done the dip yet. We, we have not done okay. the dip. We're doing that now. Oh, Lord. Okay. So now you're going to step two combine the soaked beans after they've been drained, obviously, with five cups of water, the taco seasoning, the onion, the bouillon cubes, the parsley, the bay leaves, and a four-and-a-half quart crock pot slow cooker. Yep. Cover it. Cook on low nine to ten hours. So you want to start these the day before in the morning yeah, pretty much. Obviously. Yeah, And then or until the beans are tender. Add additional water a half a cup at a time as needed. Then what you want to do is you want to remove and discard the bay leaves, Ladle half of the hot bean mixture into a food processor. You want to add the salsa and the lime juice. Cover and process until smooth. Return the pureed dip to the crock pot or the slow cooker and stir to um, combine it all. This makes 24 servings. Good Lord. Well, Everybody you, you, at the That's what I'm saying. You can share. So you can substitute canned beans if you'd like for the dried beans. Yep. And I got to tell you, that's what I will do from now on. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And that's, don't worry, folks. We're going to put these on the website. Yeah. And then. Maybe. Because <laughs> that's a big old long See recipe. what you did there. Yeah. It's not bad. Pretty long. But it feeds a lot of people. What it's you, a great what do you way dip to. In it? Do you dip bread or crackers I, or what? I would dip the, like, Tostitos chips or okay. taco. You know what I actually like, though? That's real cheap is just get taco shells. Yeah. Because you can put them on there with some ground beef or something. That's fine. And then have tacos. Oh. So, or just you gotta break sit up through a ball game that lasts four hours. Break up the shells. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're going to go to the bathroom probably, <laughs> but so good. <laughs> All right. Awful. My next recipe is sounds. this one's actually one of my favorites. I always make the. I tried the bean dip for somebody else, but this one is actually one of mine that I love and that I'm. I kind of. I'm pretty stingy with it because I like it so much, so I don't really give it out. But I will So today. there it is. Party in paradise, people. I'll share. Listen up. <laughs> Rock and roll These sherry. These are delicious maple glazed meatballs. All right. And I like this because you actually make the glaze yourself from scratch, which if you're like me and you're not domesticated, to do this and have it turn out right ding, 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 really ding. gives you a sense of happiness. So an accomplishment. <laughs> Whatever. I don't cook. I don't cook. I go out to eat. So the fact that Here I make is. this and it tastes delicious, it I'm is. excited about. Yes. You take one. It, ta it requires one and a half cups ketchup, one cup of maple syrup or maple bad. flavored syrup, a third cup of reduced sodium soy sauce. I use just regular whatever. One tablespoon of quick cooking tapioca. One and a half Gross. tablespoons of ground allspice. Oh, no, wait, because it's, it's really good. One teaspoon of dried mustard. Two packages, that's about 16 ounces each, of frozen, fully cooked meatballs, partially, partially thawed and separated. And then one can, 20 ounces of pineapple chunks and juice drained. Wow. Yes. Now, you combine the ketchup, maple syrup, soy sauce, tapioca, allspice, and mustard in a four-and-a-half-quart crockpot slow cooker. Then you want to carefully stir in the meatballs and pineapple chunks into the ketchup mixture. Then you want to cook... You want to cover it, I'm sorry, and then cook on low for five to six hours, stirring before serving. Um, they're really great. You can just bring that whole thing with them, get like one of those drained or like ladles scoops and just put them on people's little party uh -huh. party plates. Sure. You want to stick little uh, coming by, giving out bourbon. cocktail picks mm -hmm. and everything. You could do that too. It This recipe makes about 48 meatballs. Again, so if you have... 12 oh, you're sharing, yeah. Yeah, 12, 24 people. Everybody's getting three or four. Everybody's coming it's by. It's good, yeah. Mm -hmm. That so sounds good. I really, really like that. It is oh, yeah. delicious. So we got our tailgate now. We've had a 
We've had a couple of bourbons. Now we're ready to have the serious dish. All and right. This and I. Oh this my is, gosh. We're already going to the back. We're looking for porta potties right no, now. <laughs> now we are just gonna live it up. Bring some wet wipes because this one's a little bit messy, but it is well worth it. Uh huh. These are called ball off the bone ribs for football. Ball off the bone, baby. Yeah, we we did that just for football. Now, again, you make the barbecue sauce from scratch. I, since I don't make anything from scratch, it's like a little toot toot. That's my own horn. You just heard kind of thing right there. So you need one teaspoon of paprika or smoked paprika, one teaspoon salt, okay. one teaspoon dried thyme, quarter teaspoon black pepper. I need some thyme, thyme. <laughs> an yeah. eighth teaspoon ground red pepper. Three to three and a half pounds of well-trimmed pork baby back Lord ribs have mercy. cut into four rib pieces. You like little sections. One, a quarter cup ketchup. Ball game's over. Two tablespoons. You do this beforehand and you take it with you. Gotcha. This is prep food. Two tablespoons of packed dark brown sugar. Oh, it's delicious. One tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Easy and for then, you to say. And then one tablespoon of soy sauce. Worcestershire. Now, this is two easy steps. Go. Step one. Step in one. You coat the four and a half quart crock pot slow yes. cooker with cooking spray. Yes. That way, your ribs don't stick to it. Combine the paprika, salt, thyme, black pepper, and red pepper rub mixture onto meaty sides of ribs. Place the ribs in the crock pot slow cooker. Cover and cook on low for seven to eight hours or on high. Like, so you could do it the night before, or if you want to do it in the morning before you left for the game, you can cook on high for three to three and a half hours or until the ribs are tender. Then you're going to combine the ketchup, sugar, Worcestershire sauce, and soy sauce mix. You're going to mix it well. Remove the ribs from the crock pot slow cooker. Hint, hint, use some spoons and a spatula because they're already going to be tender enough to fall off the bone. Okay. So you don't want to ruin them or have them fall to pieces. So use something to help you get them out. Then you're going to discard the cooking liquid, coat the ribs with the sauce, and return them to the crock pot slow cooker and cook on high for 30 minutes or until the ribs are glazed. So there you go. Very you easy. Go. Sounds good. Super easy. And I'll tell you what, the meat just, it just jumps off the bone. You, Sounds good. I'm yeah. ready to try it. Delicious. Because I got a big butt. <laughs> you will after eating these. Rock and roll share at tailgate. <laughs> Paradise Cafe style. There it is. Hello.
running like a hurricane. Because you got to get back to the hot nuts. That's right. It's football season. We did some pro teams. Now we got to do the college teams. And we had people, they wouldn't send us jokes. They just sent us, I guess, their rivals. Make fun of these people, Todd the Party Doctor. <laughs> and, and we said no problem. <laughs> well, you know, there were a few that were close, kind of hit close to home. I don't know. I guess I can make fun of my favorites. All right. We'll let Rock and Roll Sherry call them out if she can. Ooh. <laughs> Put on your glasses. Okay. I, I just don't know Sing that nuts. many. I know. You get them from the peanut man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nuts. I nuts. You get them in the way you can. All right. Who are we doing first? Uh, LSU. 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 What do you call a drug ring in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, home of Louisiana State University? What? A huddle. Sing huh? nuts. <laughs> Hot nuts. You get them from the peanut man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nuts. Hot nuts. You get them in the way you can. All right. Uh, how about the Hurricanes? The Hurricanes? Right? Isn't that a team? Yeah, we were running like, yeah, that's what they said. Yeah. Well, what do you get when you cross a Miami hurricane with a groundhog? What? Six more weeks of bad football. Ooh. Sing nuts. Hot nuts. You get them from the peanut man. Yeah, 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 nuts. Hot nuts. You get them in the way you can. Who you got? Uh, let's do Oklahoma. Don't they have someone like the Summers Sooners? What is it? The some, um, Hoosiers? What is it? The Oklahoma, the Oklahoma Sooners. There you University go. University of you. Oklahoma Sooners, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Or the Indiana Hoosiers. Which one was Which, it? What uh, did they ask for? O- Oklahoma. Oklahoma Sooners. It was the Sooners is what it was, ladies and gentlemen. That's fine. We can do it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if anybody heard this or not, but... Oklahoma legislature, the Oklahoma state legislature has passed a new law. Yes, they passed a new law that the Oklahoma Sooners are going to have to change their name. Did Why? you hear this, Rock and Roll Show? No. Yes, they have to change their name from the Oklahoma Sooners to the Oklahoma 69ers. Did you hear this? No. Yes, because they suck at both ends of the field. Oh. Nuts. Hot nuts. You get them from the peanut man. Yeah, 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 nuts. Hot nuts. You get them in the way you can. You got one rock and roll, Sherry? Isn't, isn't she is unbelievable over there. The Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Okay. okay. What do Notre Dame Irish fans and laxatives have in common? <laughs> Both irritate the crap out of you. Sing nuts. <laughs> Hot nuts. You get them from the peanut man. Yeah, 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 nuts. Hot nuts. You get them in the way you can. Okay, I know we got one from Mississippi State. Uh, <laughs> wait a minute. Starkville. What did the Starkville City Council do to slow down the birth rate at Mississippi State? What? Outlawed family reunions. <laughs> Sing nuts. Ouch. Hot nuts. <laughs> you get it from the peanut man. Yeah, 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 nuts. Hot nuts. You get them in the way you can. The Maryland Turtles. <laughs> Maryland Terrapins. What's yeah, that? It's a turtle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, where are you from there, Rock and Roll Sherry? From Maryland. There you go. <laughs> it's fine, folks. Maryland joined the Big Ten this year. The Maryland Terrapins, another state legislature that acted. Uh-oh. Changing the name of the Maryland Terrapins. To what? The Maryland Tampons. Why? Because they're only good for one period and they don't have a second string. Sing nuts. Oh. Hot nuts. You get them from the peanut man. Yeah, 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 nuts. Hot nuts. You get them in the way you can. Now, this one I know. Trojans. USC Trojans? I The Trojans. The Trojans. Don't give Univers- me letters. Just the University of Southern California Trojans. Yes. Yes. They play their football. In the Los Angeles Coliseum. Did you know this? No. <laughs> it holds like, it was built for the Olympics, like in 1964 or something like that. Oh, cool. So it holds like 100,000 people. They don't draw that many, but it holds like 100,000 <laughs> people. So do you know the difference between the Los Angeles Coliseum where the University of Southern California Trojans play 
and a porcupine? No. A porcupine has 100,000 pricks on the outside. Sing oh. nuts. I know. You get them from the peanut man. Yeah, 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 get nuts. I know. You get them in the way you can. But well, a wop, bop, a loo, bop, a wop, boom, bam. You don't like hot nuts, you ain't worth a damn. Sing nut. I know. You get them from the peanut, peanut man. Guy walks in a bar. Watching the Army Navy game. Oh. Army Navy game. That's a big game. The gentleman that walked in this bar had his puppy with him. Aww. Rock and roll, Sherry. Oh. So he sits down to have a beer, and he's watching the Army-Navy game. And all of a sudden, Army scores a field goal. Yeah. The little puppy starts jumping up and down, just barking his head off. The bartender looks at the little dog in awe. After a little while, second quarter, Army scores a touchdown. The dog starts doing flips, dances across the bar, dancing up and down. The bartender looks at the guy and says, man, that's amazing. That's, that's just amazing that your dog is doing that when Army scores. The guy said, yeah. He said, well, honestly, what, would, what does your dog do when Army beats Navy? The guy said, I have no idea. I've only had him for like seven years. <laughs> Sing nuts, high nuts, you get them from the peanut man. All right. How about some football, y'all? Riding down the strip, rag top down. My girl by my side, I love this beach town. A permanent vacation, man, it sounds so nice. But let's head home, call all our friends, tell them bring their coolers, let this party begin. I know it's Tuesday, but it's paradise. Let's have a party in paradise. Good friends over drinks on ice. Laughing, joking, such good times. Life is great for such a small price. So come on in, it's so nice. Let's have a party in paradise. It's a party in paradise. Warm breeze blows, man, what a view. A tropical bay and my cool clad crew. A cold long neck with a cool lime slice. The girls are so pretty, the guys are so tan. Island music with the bongo man. Come join us in paradise. Let's have a party in paradise. Good friends over drinks on ice. Laughing, joking, such good times. Life is great for such a small price. Come on in, it's so nice. It's a party in paradise. It's a party in paradise. Sha la 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 la. Let's have a party in paradise. Sha la 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 la. Let's have a party in paradise. Sha la 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 la. Let's have a party in paradise. Sha la 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 la. Thank you so much for listening to us, everybody. For Rock and Roll Sherry, I'm Todd Sparks. We have had football. We have had fun. We have had food. We have had big butts. And we have partied in paradise. I hope you've enjoyed it. We will see you again next week. Rock and Roll Sherry, say goodbye. Bye. Talk to you guys next week. Email us, Todd at ToddSparks.com, Sherry at ToddSparks.com. Give us some jokes. Give us some feedback. We love you guys. We'll see you next week. Party in paradise. Thanks for joining us this week right here on Party in Paradise. I hope you had a great time with Todd. I know I did. And don't forget to check us out at PartyInParadise.com. <laughs>